All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Jonathan Perez from SurefireWebServices.com, and today I am going to go over one of the coolest freaking plugins I have ever found in my life. It's called Beaver Builder. You should definitely check it out if you haven't. And if you haven't, well, I'm going to show you how to make an awesome landing page in just a few minutes, okay? So here's my site. This is SurefireWebServices.com. Now, on my site, I have this little section, training and courses. Now, this whole site was pretty much built with Beaver Builder. Well, the majority of it. It's the Genesis Framework and Beaver Builder. But check this out. So if I click on the page for create a Gen uh, Genesis child theme from scratch, this is a course that I offer. Now, this page... I'm going to be totally honest, it sucks, <laughs> okay? I mean, this is just a whole lot of text, a lot of reading, blah, 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 an image nobody cares about, and the purchase button. So I want to spruce this up a little bit, and by sprucing it up, I mean I'm going to turn it into a Beaver Builder page, right? So let's get started. How do we do that? Well, first, you notice I don't have a uh, page builder link on the top here. That's because I haven't activated Beaver Builder to look at the downloads um, custom post type yet. So I'll do that real quick. We'll go into settings. I'm going to find page builder right there. All right. Post types. Downloads. Save it. Now, let's check this out. Go to my site. Go to the training courses. Click on the link. Boom. Page builder. So watch how freaking cool this is. Now, so I don't get confused with this page and what I'm going to build. I'm actually going to open this in a new link. Okay. So now I have the page builder on this page with all of the content here. And I have all of the content on this page, which I'm actually going to edit and you'll see what happens in a minute. So I'm working in a minute, a smaller screen. <laughs> if it was full screen, it'd be a little bigger, but hopefully you can see everything that I've got going on. If I close this, you'll see that the page right now is full width and I have this heading here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to click edit download and the Genesis framework with this page builder is just so freaking amazing okay hold on one second oh I've got everything here all right not a big deal okay so check this out I have how to make a Genesis child theme from scratch if I go into the download page I have the plugin that says title toggle floating around somewhere here. Uh, do, 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 do. I cannot find it. Doesn't even matter. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I'm going to take this because I want it to look awesomely cool. And I'm going to click on row. I'm going to click on this, make it a full width, and make the content width a fixed width. And we'll give it, we'll just leave it like that, right? So check this out. Now it's edge to edge. I'm going to click add content, row layout, one column. In this amazing column, we're going to do the same thing. Now follow me here because I'm trying to go step by step, but this is literally just the coolest thing ever. I'm going to do a dark. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the text color. Um, let's make it a color background. We'll make the background of that dark, right? We have it set to full width. In this column, I'm going to add a heading. And I'm going to call it How to Make a Genesis Child Theme from Scratch. Now, if you don't know coding, this is great because literally all you have to do is just, you know, make your settings here. How to Make a Genesis Child Theme from Scratch. Let's make this the default size. I want to make this the H1 tag. 
should be a little bigger and I'm going to change the default size and I'm gonna make it let's do 42 let's see what that looks like I'm gonna save it boom I think it was 42 I don't even think it changed now I haven't designed anything yet so I'm just kind of going off a, a whim here but I just want to show you how really easy it is to to make a page like this right so doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, what am I doing? You see what I'm doing? I'm not paying attention because I want to, I want to, I'm trying to just run through this and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. 42. Show me 42. Bam, that's all I want. All right. We'll make that 24 here. Save. So now we got our heading. Now we have all this content and what I'm going to do is, let's see. I want to pick and choose what I want to display because there's a lot of information on there that I really don't want. So theme is now included with the course. That has been up for a very long time, so I'm not going to mention that again. Uh, I'm so excited to finally move this release. Okay, this is a paragraph text. Nobody cares what you'll get out of the course. Let's do that. Okay, ready? Add content two columns. Bam. First column, just give me some text. That's all I want. I just want a little bit of text here. Bam. Oh, I put the heading in. This is what I want. Shazam. Whoops. What you'll get out of the course. And you see how it updates in real time here. So as I'm typing it in here, it actually shows up, which is so freaking cool. So I'll save that. And that's not all. Boom. Look at this. I'm going to add a small heading here. And that's what we're going to give this little title. What you'll get out of the course. Shazam. And this is an H3. I'm going to make it an H2. Now you see this giant big gap? Don't want that. You know how I fix it? I go into advanced. I see margins bottom. I click zero. And it goes up. And I save it. And then I'm done. Now what do I want here? Well, since I'm doing a two-column layout, first let's copy this. Do, 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 do. And then we'll go back in here. I'll click it to edit it. Hit enter. And it's this is just your regular WYSIWYG, all right? Over there, I want to put tools used. So I bet you already know how to do this just from watching me do it once, right? <laughs> I just add a heading, I put in tools used, make it an H2, I click save. What's, what tools are used in the Genesis course? Bam! Now let's add the text editor again. And we'll just paste the text there. Right? Remember what we did last time? Let's get rid of this bottom margin. I don't want so much spacing between everything. So I just click zero. Done. Ah, uh, but you know what? That looks stupid. So let's say I want to add a image here. I'm going to go into... I could just add photo. Well, I'm just going to do that. <laughs> photo. Let's take a look at what's in my uh, my library. Over here, oh, well, I got Surefire. I got some pictures of Adrian. I got some banners. Let's do uh, Genesis stuff. Let's see. Learn how to. I got the Genesis framework. I probably have a million pictures here. And I want, let's do this for now. Just add it. I'm going to add a full size. Don't need to crop it. And we'll center it. Bam. You know what? I think this would look better on this side, wouldn't it? So look how easy this is. I'm just going to drag it. <laughs> and this, I'm just going to drag it here. And the same thing with this. And I totally just reworked the entire page. Um, so we're just swapping sides right now. So I'm going to move that there. And I'm going to move this oops, right there. 
Boom. Okay. Now the setting, you're kind of like, eh, it's all right. So let's get rid of it. And now I'm going to show you one of the advanced modules. Bom, bom, bom. It is called an icon. And then the icon, I want this to say, oh, I should have typed the heading before I did that. Uh, tools I use, right? Tools I use. Tools I use. Style. So you could style everything, get the structure. Um, and this is the actual icon that you can fix. Now when I hit select icon, it gives me a list of all these freaking awesome things here. How cool is that? I'm a one-up you though. Watch. Cancel this. You see this? Watch. Watch this. I'm going to do this. You're going to be like, oh my god, that was so cool. We got social buttons. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Call out. Boosh. Tools I use. Oh, look at this. I use Sublime Text 2. SAS, because SAS is amazing. Photoshop. Well, that's really just for the design file, so technically you don't need it as long as you have a design file. Let's make this a little bullet. And you're probably like, okay, well, you had the heading and the bullets there, so what's so cool about the callout settings? I'll show you. Call to action. Oh, we don't need a call to action yet. What we want is the image. And we're going to do a icon. And the icon tool icon for tools is what do we want a wrench or something uh, let's put a little key maybe the key looks good I'll put a wrench there no, you can't go wrong with a wrench <laughs> tools I use left heading right heading left of text and heading right of heading do I want it on the top what do you want what do you want boom 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 left the text and heading and now it moves everything aside. So I just want it to the left of the heading. That's fine with me. Save this and I could get rid of this and I got a funky little icon tools I use and some text over here, right? So let's continue, continue, continue. Theme included with the course. What else do we got here? Uh well, of course I got some text. Let's take this here. Let's edit this call to action. And since it's not just bullets, let's just add the text there. Save. So, Genesis Framework, tools I use. Don't worry if you don't know how to use any of these tools. Blah, blah, blah. I'll show you how to make the course, etc., etc., etc. Scroll down. I got some more text here. Uh, let's do, let's just copy this. And I don't know. What else should we do? I'm just going to put that here. Ready? So we'll close that. Oops. Let's close this. Let's go to row layouts. Let's add a one column layout. And let's just add the text there. So now we got left, right, left, right. Right? Maybe we want to do a little separator on this section. So we could go to separator right here. Put it in. The separator is just a line. You could pick your color, your height, whatever you want. So now I have Genesis Framework, what you'll get out of the course, the tools that I use, blah, 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 blah. And let's see what else we got. Ah, the video. Practical approach video. <clears throat> With that, I'm going to add the content. I'm going to add a one column row. We're going to make this row. You ready? Full width. Bam. Don't care about the text color yet. We're going to add. I'm going to do a color for the background. And as you can see, you could do a photo, video, slideshow, parallax, whatever you want. But here's a color for now. And let's do, um, I 
don't know why. I'm just sticking with grays. <laughs> Let's do like the dark gray again. Why not? Save that. I want to add a video here. So in this, I'm going to click edit download because I need my videos. Do 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 do. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Go to text. Uh, find out where my video embed link is. It's right here. All right. So let's add content. Let's add a video. That's what I want. Select the video. Oh, you know you have a video here. Okay. So this is if I have a video file. I could put the video there. If I have a the poster, which is the thumbnail image, I could put the thumbnail image there, and then obviously autoplay it in loop or pretty given. I'm going to embed a video. Let's see if this works. Oh, it does. I'll just click like that. Just saying. Now I don't know if people actually watch this video. Um but I'm gonna put tracking on it and we'll find out because now I actually have it in a place on the site so we'll see if people actually do that though so it's practical approach video and the practical approach is my method of teaching so if you've taken one of my courses or anything it's just exactly like this video it's pretty much real time no rehearsals and it's just doing because that's how you learn that's how I think you learn anyway you know put it into practice, do something that you need to get done, and show a real-world example. So this is not just going to go on a demo site. This is going to be the landing page for my site. And I think um, actually seeing how it was done is a lot more valuable than me just putting up some random thing that I'm never going to use. I hope that you agree. <laughs> uh Okay, let's do font size. Shazam. Uh, 42. That's like my favorite font size number so far. Save. So look at this. So the practical approach video. And then you got the video here in the dark background. And maybe I'll add uh, an actual image to this background. Let's see if I have any images to add. As I said, I'm kind of just winging this. Um, I have a color now. Let's see if we got any type of photo here that we can put in. Maybe a pattern or something. You know, I thought I had a lot more images. Ah, here we go. Here's something. Select photo. It's ugly. <laughs> We're going to repeat that. Yes. Tile it. Set to center. Uh, do not fill. No fill. So now it's got a little... I mean, that looks stupid. It does. Right? You could tell me. It's just a gray. Whatever. I don't care. You know why? Because you never know until you try it. What I'll do with this is I'll change the style, and instead of white, I'm going to go gray. Oops. Boom. So now we'll see how this is. Okay. So... How to make a Genesis child theme from scratch, what you'll get out of the course, tools that I use. The site was built in Genesis Sandbox. I personally think this is too much text, so I'm going to change all of this, but I just kind of want to show you as an example of how to pretty much build the page. Right? So now I have the video there. I don't think there's much left. The first video is free. Let's go back to this page. Bam. So you got the first video here. Yeah, then it's really just first video is free. Um, click here to get the video, right? First video is free. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a call to action, which is this fancy little thing called a call to action. <laughs> I know, terminology is crazy. Uh, where is it? Where'd it go? So you can see it's kind of already got this little setup here. So what I'm going to do is first video is free. And then what did I write here? Get a preview and watch the first video absolutely free. Now what I would normally do is make a, a email sign up box 
to say, okay, if you want the first video, give me your email, and then you can watch it, which I may do. So if you want to get it free before I start asking for emails, definitely check it out. But, uh, all right, what do we got here? So first video is free. Um, inline, let's see, what else we got? Stacked, let's see what that looks like. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to do stacked. I like stacked. Looks nice. Looks very nice. First video was free. Get a preview of the course below. Um, learn how to, whoops. Learn how to create a Genesis Child theme from scratch. Video one. That's going to be the button. So we're going to go here. Learn how to create a Genesis Child theme from scratch. Video one. The link. Oh, the link. Real easy. Copy link address. Done. Paste link address. Link target. Same window. Perfect. Now, how do we want the button to look? Um... I don't want a gradient, but watch how cool this gradient thing is. Watch, ready? I'm going to pick a color, and let's say the color is... Let's go try to match something to what's on the top of my website. It's like this red, reddish-orangey kind of dilly. Uh, right there. Okay, right? So watch this change. You see how it's just solid? Now check this out. I do want a gradient. Now, in normal editors, when you click you want a gradient, what tends to happen is you have to pick the starting color and then the ending color. Well, Beaver Builder is a little smarter than that and doesn't want you to do stupid things. <laughs> so when you click make a gradient, it automatically adds like a little a slight a slight gradient with a border. It's beautiful, as my son would say. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm going to keep that. Let's make the text white. Love that. You know what else? Let's make the text bold. Now I can add uh, some, oops, some HTML in here to make some edits on how I want. So now we make this text a little bold. How to create a Genesis child theme from scratch, real one. Um, the hover color, if this is like that, let's make it, I don't know, dark or something. We'll see what that looks like. Love it. Save it. Let's, let's see, let's get rid of, do we need anything else here? What do we got? Be sure to check out it. No, that's already on the plugin repository. Close this. Okay. Now comes the magic. You ready? Three, two, one. Click done. Publish changes. Oh my gosh. Do you know what just happened? This page just went live. That's right. And then you're probably looking at this like, uh, John, you got this stupid title up here. I'm like, yeah, I do, actually. I don't like it. So I got to get rid of it, right? Here's another thing that uh, it's gonna blow your mind, and I'll I'll do this in another um, another tutorial. See this H line H1 class entry title item. Oh no, I can't show you. That was a tease. <laughs> Sorry guys. Sorry, that was a tease. Um, so FL Builder. See, it gives you the body class FL Builder. That's something you gotta know. And then. H1 entry title, right? Actually, you know what? I will show you. Watch this. Stick with me. I know we're like uh, a few minutes in, but this is going to blow your mind any second. Watch. I'm going to click editor. Don't use the editor. I like using the editor. I'm going to go to entry title. Entry title. Ready? FL Builder Entry Title Display Block. Why is he displaying block? Watch! <laughs> Save it. So now, so I'm going to change block to none because I tried to show something to you and it didn't work. So you could see that in the outtakes. Update the file. 
go here, refresh the page. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a landing page. And it's there. There's the image. Um, and that's it. That's Beaver Builder. Like, super fast. I didn't even show you, like, a lot of awesome things that happen. That doesn't look too bad. That looks pretty good. This is a lot of stuff I didn't show you. Um, but I'm going to be doing tons of videos on Beaver Builder. And you'll see them here. And it's it's just going to be awesome. So stay tuned. Keep an eye out. Every other day, you're going to see a brand new video, a brand new post. And we are going to kick ass. Thank you. I'll see you next time. I'm going to go here, I'm going to refresh, okay, and now I have H1 entry title display block, right? I'm in my inspector, well, you know what, I changed my mind, I'm going to display none, and that this is what it's going to look like, right? How to make a Genesis shop theme from scratch, blah, 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 here's some text, here's a practical approach, get the first video, it's free. I'm going to click this little guy right here, oh, do you want to save your styles to the style sheet? I sure do. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to show something off and of course there's an error. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. It works now. I swear it works. <laughs> I think it's because I'm recording. Maybe there's like uh, something going on with my... Oops. With my computer. I probably just have to restart it. Save styles. Just work. Ah, it doesn't work. Well, what would normally happen is I would click this, click Save Styles, and it would save. But obviously, when I'm recording and trying to show everything to the public, it decides to break. Oops. I think that's why. I think it logged me out for some reason. Real time, folks. Real time. <laughs> that's how this works. Watch. Now it's going to work. Save. Oh my god. Wow. You know what? I've been using that little thing for a few months now. Never has it given me an error like that. Ever in my life. Never ever. Wow. Okay. Uh, Something's happening here. Whoops. What's my login? Ah, come on. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Yeah, wow. Well, clearly this will be edited because I, I have no clue why that's doing that. This will be in the outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta edit this. And after the edit, we are going to go back to entry title. Okay, and we're back. <laughs>